and welcome to Resident Resources. I'm Emily Jackson. And I'm Brittany Payne. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about how you can give your feedback or how you can um, let us know how we're doing. And one great way is our surveys. Can you tell us a little bit about our surveys? Yeah, so we have some automated surveys and some push survey results. So it starts even before somebody becomes a tenant at Bedford Commercial. So if you are a part of our showing process, we solicit feedback from our leasing team, or um, Emily, you'll probably communicate with Emily, Sarah, and Tom as part of the onboarding process as a tenant. So we want to know from your showing experience how it went. Is there anything we can be doing to improve it? What are your first impressions? Those kinds of things. Um, and then as soon as you become a tenant, you get a, a move-in survey. We want to know how your move-in went. Um, and those are really important because, you know, we can always say like our goal is to have that apartment move in ready for you. And sometimes you miss the mark. And that's just because we're human or the 25 things that we saw wrong. You know, you find three because you're the one living there. Uh, so it's an excellent opportunity for us to learn more about what went wrong, what went right, what we can do to fix it. Um, I think one of our other surveys is our maintenance survey that our residents would get. Yeah. Um, in reference to a vendor or a maintenance, one of our maintenance staffs. Uh, we would like to hear the good, the bad, and everything. <laughs> so please um, look for that survey after your work order has been completed so that we can get that feedback. And I think a really important part about the work order survey is like, is your work order actually done? Right? Yeah. Especially because, you know, you're the one that's living with it. So sometimes uh, if we're trying to find a problem, you go in and you're like, oh, we found, uh, like a leak is a great example. Yeah. We found a source of a leak. We fixed it, closing out that work order. And then it might be like the next day and you're like, actually, no, it's not complete. It's a great way um, if you're not creating continual work orders, if we see in those work order survey mm -hmm. responses, the work wasn't done, um, or maybe that work was done, but there was an extra piece you wanted accomplished. Uh, so work order survey responses, you automatically have our attention mm -hmm. um, and you get the opportunity um, to reach out to you to make sure that we know what went right and what went wrong. And I think what's great about it, too, is it's coming right to you. You don't have to get on the portal. You're just clicking a link and giving the information and feedback. So I think it's something a really great resource that's quick and easy. Yeah. And then I think really the last time we solicit it automatically is when you move out. We don't want you to move out. <laughs> No. Uh, but that's also an opportunity to learn a little bit more. Um, hopefully, maybe you transfer internally or you're purchasing yeah. your new home, something like that. Um, and we get to know a little bit about what that detransition process looks like, moving out of the place that you're in. But we, we do have um, feedback mechanisms for current residents mm -hmm. um, where you're maybe you're not experiencing a work order or showing move in or move out. And that would be our tenant Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, so we have a page that's just for our residents. The idea is that you are in there, you're able to drop information, maybe things that we should know, maybe creating community connections, um, you know, giving us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, letting yeah. us know wh what went right, what went wrong in the moment um, on a platform that, you know, many people still use pretty mm -hmm. daily. And maybe even seeing uh, where, where what we're doing here at Ledgeview, um, Cypher the dog, what he might be doing. Um, so just a nice way to stay in touch. Awesome. And then obviously, um, you know, love it or, or leave it. Uh, people review us online. Uh, so giving us an online review, we want them to be honest. We solicit honest feedback. Um, you know, obviously with Google or Facebook, you could be pseudo anonymous or you could do it as yourself. It gives us a chance to respond um, and hold us accountable publicly as well if there's an issue. And maybe we can get you to change that rating, you know, a little bit up if you give us a poor rating. All right. We hope to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye.